Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Rex, Rex and Cheryl, Cheryl show. show. It is February 24th, Sunday, and we come to you with some clarifications on the Dreamers Mastermind Group and the Supernova Dream Team. Okay, the Supernova Dream Team is open to anybody. However, the Dreamers Mastermind Group you have to send me a resume and explain to me why you would want to be a part in a group that will change the face of the world as we know it. I believe that we can do it and so send me your resume and you can get all the information online. Now, we have a few things in our lineup that we're going to discuss. Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, I I think what we should discuss right now is a little boost in energy, so what we'll do is we will give you quotes of the day. May you start? Yes, I can put on my eyeglasses, and the reason for that is so that I can see better. First quote for today, courage is the power to let go of the familiar. And that's by Raymond Lindquist. Stop and think about that for a second. Courage is the power to let go of the familiar. Tell him what might happen. Now the, uh, the, the next one is the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And that's by Mr. Nelson Mandela. He's the guy over in South Africa. Fine man. So that's two of them. I'm going to turn it back over to you now. And did you know one of the very best of motivational speakers, Mr. Les Brown, he says that when you fall, make sure you fall and you land on your back because if you can see up, you can get up. Right? Just keep on trying. Persistence. Okay. The quotes that I have in my hand being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. Loving someone deeply gives you courage. By Lao Tzu. <clears throat> Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. By Jim Rohn. Absolutely. Wouldn't you think discipline can be the difference between thinking a goal and actually doing it to make it an accomplishment. you got to believe in what you're thinking. <clears throat> and uh, what you said is right. And, and the other thing is, um, this is something that I say to people. And what I say is, get off of the what's in it for me. And ask yourself and ask others, how may I serve you? As stated by many of my mentors, by helping others get what they want first, you will have everything you desire. Okay. Now, um, we have a couple of issues that we're going to talk about. And I do believe, Sir Rex, our, our uh, viewers really, really want to know about this. I've been getting the emails, and as a YouTuber, I've, I do believe that you've been getting the emails to... Um, About it, the blocking. Right. And, uh, the list of blocking people. Now, I'm not sure about how other people feel about it, but this is the way my take is on it. If somebody has not done something to you or wronged you, you shouldn't go around blocking people because what if, what if, you were put on a list and somebody was circulating it and say you didn't do anything. So if enough people voted against you or blocked you, then you would end up losing your account. And for what? That's right. Because the guy with the high hat said he thought it should be done. But the ones I, I try to block, and there are not very many of them, the people that I want to block are the people that have had encounters with me that are it's an unpleasant encounter. There's nothing productive from it. Uh, uh, so I, I don't need anybody to tell me who to block. I block the ones I want to. And I don't go to another man or person to ask him who should I block. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I try to think for myself. But he's, uh, he's allowed to think for himself too. Anybody wants to do things his way, go right ahead. But I got to thinking, if I wanted to look at his video and say his hat was too high, and I just don't care to look at his hat anymore, I could block him, and that would be sort of, that, that wouldn't be a, a fair thing to do. I don't do that way. I don't tell people who to block. Right. You know? would, would you think that, um, in order to block somebody, would you think that they would have to personally do something to you? That's the way it goes over at my channel. That's the way I do it. So then, in your opinion, as a fellow YouTuber, you wouldn't block somebody just because somebody sent you a list to block them. Because there are too many people giving you advice, what does the next guy think who should be blocked? I spend all my time blocking who the other guy said, and I don't get to watch any videos. I, can, I want people to watch my videos that want to, and I want to watch the videos that I want to watch instead of who I should block, you know. So my advice to everybody on the blocking issue is that only block those who have wronged you, okay? And if YouTube wants to really get down on this, for those people who've really been wronged, who the videos have been stolen, and when I say stolen, I mean that if your video has the embedded code enabled on it, meaning that they cannot get the embedded code, and the person's got your video that you do not have the embedded code up for, then yes, they have stolen from you. But let's clarify something. If your embedded code is on your video and it is accessible to the public and somebody takes your video and puts it on their site, that is not stealing, okay? So when you go to block somebody under these circumstances, make sure they've done something directly to you and you're not just doing it because somebody said so. Because you never know. What if those people that are on that list really aren't stealing or if they're unaware of, of being able to put other people's videos on their site if they got it because you have the embedded code abled for them to copy and paste it anywhere they can. Okay, so what I propose is YouTube, I hope you're listening because if people are stealing other people's videos, mind you, YouTube should have a complaint line, right? And they to do. To lodge a complaint that people are stealing your videos. And if your embedded code is not on your videos for people to access, then that is theft. And YouTube has... I've never run thing, into right? it myself, but I understand it does happen to other people. And uh, so if you're in doubt on what to do, just contact me. It's RexLV2000 and I'll send you an email on it. But I think most people know how to take care of their own business. And if somebody uh, needs uh, a little push or advice, just contact me. And I hope there's not too many people, but I'm going to try to hand all of them I can, you know. So stop the controversy. Don't spread hate. Spread love, peace, and gentleness Right on and have a good others. time with YouTube, because that's what it's there for. God bless YouTube. There you go. There you go. Now, we have another issue that, um, well, it's not really an issue. There's uh, three different things that we'd like to touch on. And if we're done, we are done on the blockage issue. Yeah, that's good All enough right. for me. <laughs> Let's there was never cut a problem the throat for me to on start that off with. <laughs> All right. Now, we have a special um, hello, YouTubers, to go to CreeIngles.com for YouTube Idol. And All God right. bless Cree Ingles. And I want the purple hat. And I want her to quit calling me a hoot. I, yeah. He doesn't realize what a hoot is. Audrey's going to talk to her about that. A hoot is funny. <laughs> I know it, I know it, I know it. But that's all in okay. jest. Because I see her giggling right now. Uh, Cree is my girl. And Cree, I want you to send the, the blue hat. I'll, I'll get him to wear it. He no, swears up and down he's not going to, but I, I'm going to get him to wear it. You watch. <laughs> you send it to me, and, and I'll get him to wear only it. Only if Audrey says to. Audrey oh. tells me to wear the hat, I wear the hat. <laughs> okay.